Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. We've just heard of the troubles of Dormani, the famous Goron warrior who was going to save them from a demon at Snow Peak, and, well, died. So, I'm gonna have to heal this guy, so let's do this. Play the song of healing for him, and see what happens. What a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song. I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I accomplished while living are carved on my grave. You should read it. And for that, we finally get the Goron Mask. This mask contains the spirit of a proud Goron hero. Wear the mask with C to inhabit the body of a Goron. Press C again to return to normal. For the Goron Village, I have asked your assistance. Yep. Alright, so we have now healed Darmani's sorrows and have obtained the Goron mask for it. So, let's go ahead and put this thing on. <laughs> I still think those look really creepy, but wow, look at that, we're a big fat Goron. Awesome. So, we've got a couple moves available to us. This uh, little stone thing would uh, describe it, but eh, I'd rather just show you. We can do a little punch combo here. And hit him with your butt. <laughs> and then we can also curl up and roll, roll around. Um, if you roll around enough and get up enough speed, then you will uh, eventually do that. Turn into, like, this big spike Goron. But it uses magic power while you do it, so obviously don't waste it if you don't need it, like I did. And then we can also curl up and uh, pound in place here. So, there you go. It's also something we could do. Um, that, that's pretty much it. Um, the Goron also has a few other, like, special little um, quirks. Obviously, he can't swim because he is, you know, very big and very heavy. And, um, let's see, he can also have, like, superhuman strength, so he can pull this little gravestone out. And uh, the guy in front of this place actually mentioned this, the hot spring that, was, that he found whenever he was uh, burying some Goron hero or whatever. So... Yeah, we now have a hot spring here, and this is actually going to be uh, fairly useful. We're going to be using it here for a couple things. Um, I believe we should be able to use the uh, empty bottle here. Uh, well, I know we can use the empty bottle to get it, but um, we should be able to use the hot spring water that we grab in order to do a couple of things. One, um, I think we can melt the, the hearth on the thing. I'm not sure about that, but... Um, it, it could possibly happen, because he didn't mention it at least, but um, we can also, we're going to have to use this to advance the story, so um, I'm pretty much going to do that first, but we need to be quick, because as that little dialogue box said that I skipped over, um, it will actually turn into regular spring water if you take too long, so uh, we're going to need to hurry a little bit here, I'm pretty much just going to do the... Oh, there we go, yep, <laughs> I kind of love diving onto the stone there, that's awesome, but... Um, anyway, I'm going to do the story-related thing. We need to go to the east, back towards Goron Village. Um, you may remember along one of the platforms that was connected by bridges, there was actually a big block of ice that was blocking a hole. And we're going to head into that now, so... Um, if we head over this way, and make our way across the bridges, don't fall down because the only way to get back up is back there where we came from, so... Obviously that would waste way too much time and your uh, hot spring water would go away. I'm going to stand next to this big block of ice and use the hot spring water on it. Doing so will cause this to melt, and we can now go into the hole. And when we do so, we can see that we're actually going to find another hot spring right here, so... Um, we're going to be using this water for something a little bit later, too. But um, there are actually some boulders around here that I'm going to uh, blow up in order to get us back to 200 rupees. Because I think underneath one of them is like a 20 rupee chest or just 20 rupees, so... Oh. Okay, well, that'll work then. Okay, yeah, here it is. That's a chest. We can open it up. 
And like I said, 20 rupees. So now we filled back up to 200 rupees, and we're actually going to need it in just a second, too. So it's a good thing I went ahead and did that. Okay, so now let's head back this way towards the Goron Village. And since we uh, both have two, and since we both have 200 rupees and the Goron Mask, we can actually buy something from this guy that was over here that I pointed out before. So let's slide on down. So uh, in order to do this, we're gonna need to turn into a Goron. So let's talk to him. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with a focus on a Goron clientele, and that, sir, makes you a customer. Right now, I've got a special trade-in offer just for you. I'll give you my biggest bomb bag, regularly priced at 1,000 rupees. In return, you'll give me your big bomb bag and just 200 rupees. Do you need any? Yeah, let's do it. So we're going to spend 200 rupees here on the final bomb upgrade. We got the biggest bomb bag. Now you can hold up to 40 bombs. Thanks again. Yep. So uh, he pretty much ripped us off there, but, well, that's how you get the biggest bomb bag. So um, now we're also going to talk to him as a DQ scrub. So we've got a couple forms we can switch between now. Thanks for stopping. Who'd have thought I'd meet a fellow Deku in a place like this? I sell bomb bags, but I'm focusing my marketing efforts on Gorons. What I'd really like to do is go back home and do business where I'm surrounded by trees and grass. But I can't open a business back home without following the proper procedures. Do you know what I mean? I think I know what you mean. So this is where we're going to trade our uh, swamp title deed that we picked up before. Again, make sure you grab that. Ah, that's a swamp title deed. I wish you would give that to me. I'll give you this land in exchange. So we traded our swamp title deed for a mountain title deed. Awesome. I'm going right back to the swamp. Alright, so this guy's gonna take his stuff and get out of here, leaving us his little flower. So eventually, once the scene ends, we'll be able to use it. And aim straight towards the wall here. Go all the way up. And as you can see, a piece of heart is at the top. So, there you go. Awesome. Alright, so now that we have done that, we are actually going to finally head into the Goron Shrine. We haven't seen this place yet, uh, but now we can actually open the gate ourselves. Remember the guy just did a pound and that opened the door? Well, you can just stand in front of it and pound yourself, and that'll also open the door. So, there you go. Alright, so now we can head on in and check this place out. And you can definitely already hear the uh, shrill cry of a baby somewhere. And, uh, whoa, that was cool. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody is uh, covering their ears and having massive headaches from that guy. I really can't blame him. So, um, let's head up to the top and see what's going on. Again, I'm going to waste some magic and bounce around. That can be a little bit hard to control. You really don't have the best turning radius in the world, but... All right, so we could go in here, and the crying's going to get even louder. I apologize, but if we talk to him, he'll stop. <laughs> okay, I I'm not going to do that. But anyway, he wants his daddy. He's cold. Uh, Darmy, where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? Oh, please stop doing that, kid. All right, so yeah, this guy wants his daddy, so we're going to have to help him with that, of course, in order to uh, pretty much preserve everybody's sanity here. Oh, man, I'm telling you. All right, so let's go back down here. There's really not much we can do, um, actually, in the Goron Shrine for the time being, so I pretty much just wanted to, um, you know, sort of see what's up there, and uh, that'll let us advance the story some as well. All right, so now let's head back out. And uh, at this point, it's really not entirely clear what we need to do. Um, he's supposed to be, you know, he wants his daddy, so obviously we need to find him, but, like, who is his daddy, and where are we supposed to go? I'm pretty sure some of the Gorons um, around the shrine would sort of tell you, but which I kind of skipped out on, because I already know. But, um, where we're gonna head is actually back to, uh, the little place with the bridges and the three platforms. So, we're gonna head back there this way. You kinda have to take a really long roundabout way to get back, it's really annoying, but... Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is head back down this hole. This is another reason why I went ahead and opened this. Not just for the 20 rupees, but the hot spring here is also going to be very useful. So let's replace our mountain title deed with the empty bottle and get some more hot spring water. Alright, so now that we've grabbed that, let's get back out. And we are actually going to find the Goron Elder and that baby's daddy. Awesome. So what we're going to do is come down here. Um, we can check this out and Tattle will tell us something here. Hey, isn't this snowball bigger than the others? So what we can do is smash it as a Goron, and as you can see, there's a really old Goron in ice underneath. So now we're going to use the hot spring water in order to melt him. He was really uh, covered with two layers there. But... Alright, so we melt the ice. Huh? What was I doing? Ah, it's already this late? I must hurry! 
Alright, so, uh... This guy's gonna hurry away here. Let's talk to him again. Huh? Oh, you're Darmani! But you're supposed to be dead! Am I hallucinating? Maybe this is also the doing of Sohead's magic power. Hmm, I've been made a fool of. But that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. If I can see past the illusion, you'll vanish in an instant. What? My son is crying because he misses me. Why do you know that? Because I've been there, man. My son misses me. Oh, forgive me, my child. Your father has work to do. Darmani, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination, I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my son to sleep with this song I am about to play on my drum. It is the very same melody that was often played for you when you were young. Huh? Let me play it once more. Um... It's no good. I can remember only the beginning. We have learned the lullaby intro, soothing melody of a thoughtful father. It's not that I forgot it, it's just so cold that I can't play very well. Uh-huh, sure. At any rate, I am counting on you. Alright, so, he's just going to stand out here, I guess, and shiver. He looks very weird, by the way. I guess that's what Gorons look like when they get old, but... Um, anyway, you can also see the Gorons, um, little instrument there. Um, he's got some drums, which are pretty cool, so, there you go. Oh, nope, I didn't mean to punch. Alright, so now that we've learned the lullaby intro, we're going to go back and uh, play it for the crying baby back in the Goron Shrine. So, we're going to have to make our way back up here. I'm going to switch back over to Hylian Link so we can use the bunny hood. There we are. So now we're going to have to cross these bridges once again and make our way all the way back to the Goron Shrine. There is quite a bit of running around and backtracking, I guess, but... Um, I don't know. Like I said, I like snowy places, so <laughs> I enjoy this place anyway. I don't mind having to run around in it. Alright, so we're going to jump down here and make our way... ...into the Goron Shrine. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I was thinking. Um, well, I guess we should still be a Goron, because it is a Goron place. So, let's head in. And now that we are armed with the lullaby intro, we may finally be able to do something about these guys suffering, so... There we go. Alright, so let's speak to him in order to get him to shut up. He's gonna tell you once his daddy again. But I'm gonna speak to him uh, because I pretty much just want him to stop crying since I'm going to end the video right here. Next time we are going to play the Goron's lullaby intro, at least, to this kid, see if we can get him to shut up, and then see what's gonna happen afterwards. Till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.